Hello everyone, I am Ezekiel Bruni, I am a writer and general tech guy and nerd, and I am here on behalf of VPN Mentor to talk to you about how to bypass school Wi-Fi filters. You know, all those little pesky programs that block everything you want, <laughs> everything fun that you might want to do online. Now, before I get into how to fix that, let me just quickly say we would love it if you would like, subscribe, comment, maybe even click that notification bell icon if you find this video useful or helpful, or even if it makes you smile somehow. I mean, it's tech stuff, but hey, tech stuff makes me smile sometimes. Sometimes. Anyway, moving on. So you're in school, right? And you need to contact a family member via social media, maybe. Or maybe you want to look up something educational on YouTube relating to your last class. Or maybe you just want to kill time between classes. I do not judge. This is a judgment-free zone. I'm okay with this. So how do you do that? Well, to show you how this works, I set up a quick test of my own. See, I actually blocked Twitter on my own router slash modem uh, device so that even when I refresh the page and nothing, it doesn't work. The internet is working, but Twitter is not. Not a terrible loss, all things considered. Twitter is kind of a time suck and honestly, sometimes just awful. But <laughs> hey, let's just say we want to get on Twitter now from school. It's blocked, how do we do that? Well, basically, to explain what's going on is that the, these filter programs, they watch all the traffic on your school's network. And any website that comes up with a forbidden keyword, say twitter.com, gets blocked and you don't get to access it. What you need to do is make it so that those programs cannot see what you're doing on the internet. You do this by encrypting all of your internet traffic. And the easiest way to do that is with a VPN or virtual private network. Now, VPNs, they operate by, yes, encrypting all your internet traffic and routing it through another server. So you can choose what city or country you want to access various services from. That's uh, honestly not the main point of this particular tutorial. Encrypting your traffic is the function that matters most. But it does lead into why I recommend ExpressVPN. It is the service I personally use and the one most recommended by my colleagues here at VPN Mentor. Essentially, this uh, one is made to be fast. This virtual private network is made to be uh, a smooth experience that lets you do pretty much anything you want, including streaming high definition video over fast servers. And uh, then again, if you're using, if you want to use YouTube, that's exactly what you need <laughs> in school. So there are a lot of reasons to use ExpressVPN, especially considering that it will unlock services that other VPNs can't. And if you're hearing any noise behind me, that is my cat. He's scratching the post now. I'm leaving this in. Oh, my hook, oh. <laughs> okay, <laughs> that's over. How do you use ExpressVPN to get past those school filters? It's super simple. First, let's show you how to install it. Now I'm just going to get my camera out of the way so I can show you exactly how to set up and install and use ExpressVPN. It's quite simple, so uh, you should be able to follow along pretty easily. Obviously, you'll need to click the big green button first. Choose your payment plan. Enter your email address, and then choose your preferred payment method. There are lots to choose from. And that's about it. Later on in the process, you will need to set up a username and password, but I won't be taking you through that part of the process because, well, I enjoy my privacy too. So I'm just going to skip ahead. Once you're logged in, you should see a button to download ExpressVPN on whatever platform you're currently using. Now, I am on Windows, obviously, so I'm just going to download it for Windows. And just save that. Uh, now, these blurred out bits are activation codes. You do sort of need those to uh, install and set up ExpressVPN. Again, I'm not showing you know the activation codes for obvious reasons because they belong to me. But you, so your you know activation code will be different. Uh, to install, you just hit that button right there. Let's minimize this in the meantime.
Wait for the installer. When you want to sign in, just click that button. Allow the program to make a few more changes to your computer. And then you'll need to copy and paste that activation code I didn't show you earlier. I'm just going to do that and skip ahead a little bit. Now, once you have logged in, it will ask you if you want to start the application every time Windows loads or, you know, Mac OS or whatever you're using. I do want that, so I'll just click OK. I don't want to send in data, so I don't have to. It will automatically choose the closest server for you. You should note, by the way, that you can choose servers from all over the world. You just go through here, look for a country. These are the recommended locations, of course. But you can look through all the whole world and all the over 3,000 servers. Once you have the server you want, you just hit the connect button and you're good to go. So I'm just going to click to connect. And boom, it's working. I'm connected. And at long last, the cat has left the studio, ExpressVPN is all set up, and we're ready to go. I've selected a server relatively close to me. I've chosen the US Dallas server because that's the one I use for gaming, frankly. It does actually improve my connections to my connection speed to New World. Go figure. And we just hit refresh here. And boom, Twitter's working. Now I'm not going to sign in because again, total time suck but it works. That's the main point here. So we're nearing the end of the video. There are just a couple more things you should know. If you want to learn more about ExpressVPN, we have a full review with all of the tests we ran, all of the services, services we were able to access, all that good stuff linked down in the description. Also down there are tutorials for stuff like how to access Netflix from anywhere, how to access Hulu from anywhere. And also there's a coupon page on this page, you can find deals for ExpressVPN and a number of other VPN services, so you can get that first month or first year at a considerable discount. And lastly, again, I would ask you to consider liking, subscribing, uh, clicking that notification bell icon, and maybe even leaving a comment to see how, you know, your experience with unblocking your school's Wi-Fi went. I hope you found this video fun and useful. I had a good time. I hope you did too. This is Ezekiel Bruni, signing out. Thank <laughs> you.